Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, JJ Prime here, back with another video. And today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers. I'm sorry. <laughs> and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers. Age of Extinction, Forger class, Grimlock, yes, Hasbro made like a leader class and then a Forger class. Hey, why not? They can do it. Hey, they did it with Prime as well, so... Um, but um, so here's Grimlock in his dino mode, and I will have to say, I think between the leader class version and this version, I think the dino mode looks way better than the, because the proportions are accurate to how he looked in the film. Uh, the like the head is as big as it should be, uh, the tail is as long as it should be, although it's kind of weird, <laughs> and the uh, the main body is as you know, it's as thick as it should be. Although I don't like the weird hump that he has, and uh, he does have like a visible head syndrome right there. <laughs> the head is just peeking out. You can see the eyes. Oh, <laughs> so, but still, still this figure is is not a bad figure. So, he's still a fun figure to mess with. But yeah, I think the 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 Dynamo works way better for this one than the uh, than the leader class one. The leader class was just a sausage. <laughs> so uh yeah now uh yes but all around still it's nicely uh nicely colored um i mean i know it's not screen accurate but still i like the colors I mean, it looks more like a more g1 ish colors i don't know but but not not really g1 colors but it's not the same <laughs> so uh nice autobot logo right there on the back this would be the robot mode chest these are the robot mode feet and uh and just like the leader class the robot mode arms become the uh the dino feet which is funny <laughs> so yeah now articulation wise the head can open and close but this is on a spring loaded hinge so if you press this button he can chomper 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> so, these little horns or ears can move up and down. Uh, the arms, the little dino arms around the ball joint can rotate a full 360. They can move out. Hey, don't want to get that undone. <laughs> so uh, the tail doesn't move, unfortunately. The legs can rotate. A full 360 can move out like that far. Can do the full splits. He does have a swivel right there. He does have like a knee joint, which would be the elbow joint for robot mode. And uh, no, no, no movement on the legs. But if you untap this, can then can move down. But it's meant to stay tabbed in. Oh yeah, and you can move the heel spurs if you want to for transformation. So. Yeah, so uh, now for comparison, I'm just going to bring in the Grimlocks that I have. Uh, first, here he is with Cyberverse Deluxe Grimlock. You can see how they scale with one another. And uh, this Grimlock is going to be so uh, jealous of this guy because this guy has a crown and this guy does not have a crown. <laughs> yes. Uh, so there you go. They have that. And here he is. With the uh, with the Studio Series version of Grimlock, and you can see, oh, this guy's a little baby. He's a little baby with his papa. Oh, look at that! Isn't that cute? He's so cute. This Grimlock's got like, son, let's go ride into battle. And then this guy's like, who's gonna ride us, papa? Who's gonna ride us? Is it gonna be Optimus Prime and his son? <laughs> so, so there you have that, and of course, last but certainly not least, here he is with the the original leader Grimlock, and you can see, yeah, this this Dino Mode, this this Grimlock pulls off the Dino Mode way better than than that. What's that? It's a sausage. <laughs> The sausage dino. Look how long this look, look how elongated this dino is. It's just uh, it's just no uh, uh, uh. And that's my that's, that's and that's my professional opinion. Uh, so there you go. So there you have that for comparisons. 
Um, he does include a one accessory. He does include his mighty club. Oh yes, his mighty club. And I and I believe this is more um, more screen accurate. Eh, eh, I don't know, but but uh, now I'm probably wondering whether you are asking the question whether this weapon can actually store in uh, in dino mode. And the answer is yes, there is. <laughs> There is storage in dino mode, so if you look at here, if you look here on these uh, dino, uh, bleh, on this robot mode feet What would be the robot mode feet with the iron cheek boots? Uh, there is a tab on each side, so what you're supposed to do You take these tabs and you slide them in to those uh, th their, their notches right here, so you just slide them in Put the feet into that hole, and just slide them in, slide the weapon in, and there you go. There you have weapon storage in Dynamount. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's it makes the tongue. It makes the tongue. Make makes the tail. <laughs> makes the tail a little bit longer, like. Very much, very very long. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, it works kinda, it kinda. But if you don't like that, if you don't like that. It just you can just take it off and maybe you can just you know just put them in his mouth. And see if you can put it in his mouth. Can we put it in his mouth? Can we put it in his mouth? Can can put it in his mouth? I've done it before, but I don't know. Can put it in his mouth. Hey, you can hold it in his mouth. If, if you want to do that, sure. Yes, yes, you can. You can. Now, I'm probably <laughs> now. I am. Don't. I don't know whether you could hear that water running. Okay, it's gone. Wait, there's a little bit left. Okay, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Um. Now I'm probably wondering, I'm probably, you know, you you guys are probably wondering why I'm reviewing this figure right here and now. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you. So, what I'm gonna do is that this week is gonna be about the Dinobots. So I'm gonna review like all seven of the Dinobots, or maybe eight, eight, because there was the uh, the last night Voyager class Scorn, which is a new mold, and uh, that would be reviewed uh, next Monday. Um, yeah, I, I, I will review all the movie Dinobots, so I hope you I hope you guys watch my movie Dinobot uh, reviews because, you know, I love the Dinobots. You know, the Dinobots are really cool, you know, the dinos. And if you guys like dinosaurs, hey, you have a T-Rex right here, so, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, and I think that is pretty much it for the Dino Mode. Um, oh yeah, he has a uh, blue for the eyes, which is not accurate to the show because, uh, yeah, he's he supposed to have red eyes, but no, he has blue eyes. But anyway, I mean, there is nice silver paint on the on the head, just nice. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it about the Dino Mode. I think so. Yes, yes. Shall we move on? Yes. Let's move on. Let us move on to the transformation into Robot Mode. And now we can say, me Grimlock, Joshinka. There we go. So let's get on to it. So now what you want to do is you want to take these heels first and just bring them down, bring them down just like so. You want to untap this, you want to rotate this around, there is a tab, we'll tap into that slot, right there. Same thing on the other side, just rotate, tap that in, straighten out the arms, like so, bring them out a little bit. So, okay, so, so now you want to untap the legs from here, so there are two tabs that will actually tab in, I'm not sure you can see, it. there are two slots right here, so they will tab in. Right there for Dynamo, just bring the legs down, bring the legs down, and shift these hip pieces forward, shift it forward, and bring down the dino arms, just like that. And then, you want to flip up the feet, they will thoop into place, thoop, there we go, and he has his legs 
all done so now you want to take this section right here just bring it down and that will tab in right in there there is a slot right there that will tab in into that tab like so like that so just bring out the arms like so yes I know gorilla arms so I will address that in a little bit <laughs> so so you want to untab this uh, this hump section right here untap that and you got a uh, you got a dino head on his butt <laughs> so, so you want to untap this section right here you want to bring up these ears or horns what do you want to, whatever you want to call them just bring up the horns or ears and just bring them up because you want to you want to uh, move them out for clearance. You want to unt split the head, and here's why you want you have to uh, you know bring up the ears. You want to take this section, bring it, uh, and move it through the the uh, the bisected head, <laughs> and just tab that in like so. That will make his uh, dino head shoulder pads, which is pretty cool, and just just. Make it flush, you know, on his back, like so. And uh, nothing you can do about this, it's just, it's just there, it's just there, so. And I think we are pretty much done. Are we done? Yes, we are done. So, we, there you go, there you have the Voyager class Grimlock in his robot mode. And, um, uh, it's okay, it's alright, um, I think for robot mode wise, I prefer the uh, the original leader class Grimlock, you know, between the two, you know, the Dino mode definitely goes to this guy, but Robot mode goes to the leader class. So I mean, I mean, this guy is still not bad, but I think the leader class poses off the Robot mode way, way better. But but let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Just bring down the camera a little bit. Let's see the head sculpt. There we go. There we have the head sculpt. I mean, nice head sculpt. Nicely molded. Nice uh, blue for the eyes, which is not accurate. <laughs> it's supposed to have red eyes, but no. <laughs> yes. A nice silver on the chest. I love this uh, this uh, detail on the chest right here. I love the shoulder pads right here. I mean, all around. I mean, nice design. Nicely detailed. Got the spikes. <laughs> I mean, that's accurate. So. You got iron cheek boots, which I love. I like that. They come to the back here and look at that bottom jaw just hanging off its butt. <laughs> so. I mean, if you have a stand, you can actually plug into that port right there. So, yeah. I mean, not a huge backpack, but still, this one I don't like. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, articulation wise, um, his head can rotate around. Like so, but can't rotate a full 360 due the way due to the way it's molded. Uh, it can move up and down. It can look up a little bit. It can look down to his chest. <laughs> the shoulders can uh, they can't rotate the full 360 because the shoulder pads in the way. So they can move up that far and move back that far. Okay, they can move in and out. He has a very very snug bicep symbol. He does have an elbow joint. Oh, uh, about a little bit over 90 degrees of bend there, and if you untap this, you have you have the uh, the availability of the waist swivel, but normally you just tap that back in right there. So uh, no waist swivel due to the way he transforms. Uh, the legs can move up that far, and and these this piece can uh, move out of the way for the leg movement. Can move back that far, can move out, and only a, bit, only a little bit. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have a knee joint. About 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And he does have a, a bit of ankle tiltage there. And the feet can move down if you want them to. So, that is uh, pretty much it for his articulation. So, now. Let us work on the arms, because I know, I mean, if I do this, he's going to end up with the gorilla arms, you know. He's going to, yeah, he's going to end up with the gorilla arms. If you want a proper elbow joint, you can actually rotate it back to the el proper elbow joint. Just untap this, rotate it so that the fist is facing you, and just 
you know, just rest it there. But wait, no, no, that tab is sticking out too far. Shh, shut up. <laughs> so, I mean, you can if you want to. But me personally, I like the gorilla arms. I don't care. I don't care about the gorilla arms. I, 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 I pretty much like the gorilla arms. You know, I, I like it. I like it. So, yeah. Now he can actually hold. Um, his club, so just bring out his hand and just plug it into his hand, plug that into his hand. You can actually hold it properly like that. That's how I have him holding it. But if I want to display in one of my shelves, um, I have to uh, store it at the back. So the way to store it in robot mode. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So bear with me. Bear with me, people. Bear with me, people. So there is the screw hole right there, which actually the post can actually fit in right there. So you can actually plug it to the back like so. Just plug that in, and there you go. Now you don't have to worry about Grimlock holding his club. So yeah. So I mean that's the way I display him. But hey, it is what it is. But so. There you go, so now, for comparison, here he is with his Cyberverse counterparts. Let's see, definitely the Voyager is bigger than the Lux. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is more to his uh, G1 design, this is uh, his live action movie counterpart design, so there you go. Uh, here he is with the big studio series Grimlock, and you can't see his face. Let me bring, raise up the camera. There we go. There you have the comparison right there between the Voyager and the studio series Grimlock. And and again, of course, there is no contest here. This guy, hands down, definitely. <laughs> so there you have that. And here he is with the original leader class. Grimlock, and I have to say, the robot mode for this guy is way, way better, but way, way better than that. This robot mode, I, I, I mean, it, it's, it's not, it's still not bad, but this guy, he has wrist swivels, he has an elbow joint, you know, doesn't have gorilla arms. Yes, yeah, 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 I know, I know, but, <laughs> but I don't, I don't care about the gorilla arms on this guy though, because you can actually remedy that by doing like some fan moding if you want to but yeah but um yeah I would have to say the robot mode goes into this guy but the dino mode definitely goes to this guy definitely definitely to my eyes anyway in my opinion so uh so there, there you have that so there you have the Voyager class Grimlock from Age of Extinction and um I mean, this guy, this figure is still fun to mess with, but it's it's not a great figure by any means. But um, the Dino Mode, it's looks really good. It it looks way better than the uh, the Leader Class one. The Leader Class was just a sausage. <laughs> the Robot Mode, um, it's 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 decent. It's decent. It's not great, but it's decent enough. Um, one thing that I would have to that I would like. That I would like to change on this figure is to give him a better color scheme, like um, give him give him this one. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I wish he had that color scheme. But I, I think I think there is another one that it has the more screen accurate colors. I, I I can't recall. I think that was in the the movie the best version of Grimlock. But I, I I'm I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there is a Nemesis Grimlock version of this figure, but I didn't get it because I didn't even care. <laughs> it's a lousy repaint. So uh, yeah. Um, but overall, I think I think this Grimlock deserves a um, a a seven out of ten. Not perfect. There are still some flaws going on here, like the. The dino mode head sculpts. I, well, I do like the shoulder pads, but they're not really as complete because in the movie, if you if you remember, the shoulder pads for the dino heads are like full head sculpts, you know, the of the upper jaw. So this one doesn't do that. But <laughs> so yeah, but overall, still enjoyable to mess with. So seven out of ten, still a good figure. So and I think that is pretty much it. So don't forget to. Subscribe to my channel, 
so that you won't miss any of your blah 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 this is where my tongue stops working <laughs> let's try that again don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future reviews of new upcoming figures and old figures and hit that notification bell down below so that you can get so that you can get notified and when a new video is up and ready so and I think that's pretty much all there is to say so there you have the Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager class Grimlock and this is JJ Prime signing off Peace out